there's a question that I've been personally wanting to ask you, Chiwetel, and I would love for you to chime in on this as well. I know we're, for, in Britain, um, police officers don't carry guns. Yeah. And I was thinking about this because I, as I watched the film, you know, there was guns in it, but there wasn't a lot of gunplay when you would think the end of the world. And when you see zombie movies or something, there's no zombies in this, but you just assume everyone's going to have guns. With there being no police officers having no guns in Britain, um, and with what's happening here in our country with back, Black Lives Matter, how do you feel about our gun policies and what's been happening? Well, I mean, you know, I, when you're raised in a place like England where there's a very limited amount of guns and so consequently a very limited amount of gun crimes, yeah. it very quickly becomes nonsensical to, the, to think that people should have loads of guns, you know. Um, but then that's not, this is, I mean, but this is a different culture when it comes to guns than I, came, than I come from. Uh, it's a different, uh, the, the sort of, uh, the idea of guns somehow in America is a completely different uh, uh, construct. Uh, it's not one that I can completely get my head around. I never will be able to, but yeah. uh, it's not my cultural play, you know, it's yeah, definitely. cultural history. What about for you? Well, I think that's interesting. I mean, and you, I feel like you and I have talked about this kind of to a degree, especially like with the way that guns play in this culture. It's like <clears throat> having been from this culture, and I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, which is the South, which is very gun, pro-gun area and, and whatnot. I mean, <clears throat> and I have all my family has had guns. Like I know guns have been around me my whole life. I recognize how difficult that problem is in terms of trying to get it, trying to change anything with yeah. that. I also think that it's crazy, and we have to, we have to do it. Yeah, have to make changes definitely. But isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a, essentially a. Fi from what I understand, it's a financial issue. Is it? It's, it's, it's the. It's the lobbies and people who have the, the investment in guns and gun production that can control the government in terms of what the government do about the gun laws. Completely. So it's uh, which seems to me to be corrupt essentially. So yeah. it's a it's a question of uh, making the uh, the government ideology less corrupt in terms of financing, mm -hmm. and then being able to make effective changes. I certainly thought that after Sandy Hook, you know, that there was there was bound to be such a public outpouring. Uh, I'd never seen anything quite as, you know, I mean, it was horrific to, to look at. I, I, I conclude there was bound to be such a huge public outpouring that things would have to change, have to effectively change, and for good. And it was, uh, I think, uh, devastating and shocking, you know, that the machinery of government wasn't able to, to, uh, to affect proper change after that. I agree with you. I agree with you. But I do also say, like, I'm not 100% sure that, like, some of the stuff with as you say, like the Black Lives Matter and like the stuff that's happening, mm -hmm. that's not just because guns are a problem. I mean, there's a police culture problem. There's like other things that I think we need to work on and probably can work on better first mm -hmm. because the gun thing is so thorny and there are so many people that, I mean, you you're effectively have to kind of ask an entire generation to kind of like give up their guns. It's going to be a very difficult thing to do. But I think that there is ways that... There are things that are just wrong about like what's going on with the way our, we police ourselves. Yeah, you're but right. I don't think happen in the UK. Yeah, the police, the police don't. I mean, the police don't kill people. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not that's, that's not that's not their job. Plain and simple, it's not their job to kill <laughs> anyone. Their job to kill yeah. people. It's their job to protect people, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, the, and that's um, not a gun problem. That's a different that's, yeah. thing. Yeah. 